Charles Hatchett Award is bestowed annually to the authors of the best recently published paper on the science and technology of niobium and its alloys. This prestigious award is promoted by the Institute of Materials, Minerals and Mining, IOM3, administered by Beta Technology and sponsored by Brazilian mining company CBMM, Compania Brasileira de Metodologia e Mineração. The winning authors receive a medal cast in niobium metal featuring an image of Charles Hatchett, an eminent fellow of the Royal Society who discovered the element niobium over 200 years ago. This year, the award-winning paper is based on exciting new research carried out at Brunel University London and concerns the use of niobium to promote grain refinement in cast aluminium alloys. This innovative development permits the manufacture of lighter aluminium parts, contributing to lowering the overall weight of vehicles, reducing fuel consumption and associated emissions. Significant interest has already been generated in this research and there is considerable potential for commercial application of enhanced, niobium-treated aluminium cast products in the automotive industry. The winners of the award were presented with their medals during the IOM3's Premier Awards Dinner on the 12th of July at the IOM3's new headquarters in London. I'm very honoured to receive this award that uh, some uh, peer reviewers um, saw that our work that we we done at Brunel um, is worth uh, something and um, I feel very privileged to get this award after finishing my PhD. Initially we thought it is a laboratory scale limited work and it is now slowly proving that it is actually be easily upscaled and it's going to easily be transferred to the industry. Being recognized by peers uh, that the idea uh, is taking over and being at some point commercial be using the automotive industry and hopefully it's going to help us in terms of our careers. This is only the second occasion that the Charles Hatchett Award has been made for work on aluminium-based materials. Over the last 20 years, significant progress has been made in vehicle light weighting through the use of advanced high-strength steels. This has allowed automotive manufacturers to meet increasingly stringent EU automobile emission targets. Further progress in this area will require the use of other lightweighting options, including aluminium alloys. To maximize the benefits available from the use of cast aluminium components, it is important to optimize strength levels and minimize property variability. This can be achieved by refining the microstructure in the cast product. The day after the awards ceremony, CBMM hosts a seminar for specially invited delegates. These seminars aim to focus attention on the broader area of science and technology and commercial application relevant to the award-winning paper. Maintaining this tradition and, under the banner, Niobium for Aluminium Cast Parts in Automotive Components, the 2016 Charles Hatchett Seminar was held on the 13th of July at the Royal Society of Chemistry's Burlington House in Piccadilly. Over 40 invited guests of CBMM from seven countries attended this prestigious event and were warmly welcomed by Dr. Nyla Croft, the international coordinator of the 2016 Charles Hatchett Award. Nyla then set the scene for the seminar by outlining the new challenges presented to the automotive industry by EU and international legislation. Whilst energy production itself is the major source of greenhouse gases, the road transport sector is responsible for well over 20%, with cars contributing some 13.4%. EU legislation seeks to address this statistic by setting a target of 95 grams of CO2 per kilometre to be achieved by 2020. This will only be achieved by radical new approaches, such as moving more quickly from fossil fuel transmission to hybrid or fully electric options. Light weighting of vehicles, using improved materials, also has a major contribution to make. Over the last 20 years, major efforts have been made to reduce the weight of vehicle bodies, but less attention has been given to light weighting the engine and transmission components. These include large aluminium castings, such as engine blocks, exactly the sort of area where the work of the recipients of this year's award has potential application. 
Nyla then invited Jesse Willy Pegli Filho from JWP Engineering and Consulting in Brazil to summarize the many opportunities for aluminium components in the automotive industry. Jesse observed that the use of aluminium in automobiles has risen consistently over the past 40 years, and this trend is projected to continue for the foreseeable future. The aluminium used in vehicles is in a variety of forms and includes hot and cold rolled sheet, castings and extrusions. The principal areas of application in vehicles were identified and opportunities briefly discussed. Issues with the use of die casting and recycled aluminium were touched on, and the problem of iron contamination was noted. Nyla then invited the lead author of the medal-winning paper, Dr. Harry Babu Nadendla, to the lectern. His keynote presentation described the fundamental metallurgy behind the design of the novel niobium boron inoculants and demonstrated their effectiveness in producing microstructure refinement at the laboratory scale. By way of background to his presentation, he gave a brief overview of the properties and advantages of aluminium alloys, particularly for cast products. He further explained the benefits which could accrue from more effective grain refinement and associated enhancement of properties. Grain refinement leads to improved castability, machinability, chemical homogeneity, mechanical properties, surface quality and reduced shrinkage porosity. Inoculants are already widely used to refine the microstructure of castings, and these are normally based on aluminium-titanium-boron compositions. A drawback of such inoculants is that silicon reacts with the titanium, reducing their effectiveness, especially at silicon levels above 6%. The present work has demonstrated that niobium-boron additives can be very effective inoculants, as they do not interact with silicon to cause the issues already mentioned. The niobium boron inoculants provide very effective grain refinement over a wide range of practically relevant silicon levels. Aluminium castings treated with these inoculants produce superior products with improved strength and ductility, and these properties are less sensitive to cooling rate than in conventional alloys. This means the inoculants can confidently be used with a range of casting processes, including sand and die casting. Finally, iron contamination in aluminium casting alloys leads to a reduction in mechanical properties due to the formation of large brittle intermetallic particles. The use of niobium boron inoculants refines the size of these particles, greatly reducing their effect on properties and hence making the mechanical properties of recycled aluminium alloys much less sensitive to iron contamination. Edmundo Burgos from CBMM presented a paper about the master alloy of aluminium niobium boron. This contribution described the mechanisms through which the niobium boron inoculation works. A specific procedure must be employed for the addition of niobium and boron to obtain adequate yields in the final melt. The additions are made as niobium powder and potassium tetrafluoroborate, KBF4, to the aluminium melt and a series of reactions take place. Reactions between Al3NB and AlB2 give rise to nucleation sites for aluminium, which are required for grain refinement. Jack Strong of UK-based Granger and Worrell presented a paper about lightweighting gravity cast parts in the automotive industry. Jack set out a plan to deliver the proof of concept and to take the novel inoculation plan from the laboratory towards full commercial implementation in complex castings. He then set out how the required trials on selected aluminium alloys would be conducted and why these alloys had been selected. A357 is used in applications requiring good strength, moderate ductility and high thermal conductivity, whilst A354 is employed where high strength is required in elevated temperature applications. The trials were conducted on a complex casting designed to fully test the ability of the new inoculant to provide adequate levels of product quality. The work program was designed to enable the ranking of materials and the extent of successful grain refinement without encountering too many defects. The methodology for assessment of the results against control samples with no inoculation was described and in some cases 3 mm grains were reduced to 0.3 mm. Finally, Henry Dickinson of Norton Aluminium UK presented aluminium niobium a foundry and master alloy manufacturer's perspective. 
Norton Aluminium is the UK's largest producer of aluminium foundry alloys, and Henry described the next steps required to scale up the production of master alloys to allow full commercial exploitation. Grain refiners are normally added during melting prior to final casting. For aluminium niobium boron inoculants, the addition is more appropriate at the initial ingot production stage. He described an industrial trial being carried out to validate the technique and its effectiveness. Norton has demonstrated a production route for A357 ingots with and without niobium boron inoculants. The inoculation has produced significant grain refinement in the ingot, and this persists after subsequent remelting and casting, indicating that the grain refining effect will still be present in the final product. The next step is to optimize the processing conditions for commercial scale production and to produce 20 tons of the aluminium niobium boron master alloy for development trials with potential end users. At the end of a very informative seminar and an excellent open exchange of technical views and opinions, Marcos Stewart, Chief Technology Officer of CBMM, once again thanked all the speakers and invited guests for their participation. Marcos alluded to the increase in the range of applications for niobium in recent years and congratulated Brunel for their innovative and original new research. The niobium boron inoculation technology is very exciting for CBMM and all the authors have demonstrated the way in which this new product can contribute to the technical and financial challenges that must be faced in the production of large, complex aluminium castings for the automotive industry. There is no doubt that the development of this new technology will help the automotive industry to meet the emissions demands of new legislation. It will also meet the expectations of the manufacturers in their quest for weight reductions and increased efficiency. A truly green theme to this year's award.